They call it a young country, but they lie. She is the last of lands, the emptiest. Her breast still tender, but within, the womb is dry. I want to start for Queensland, the Kemp's the oddest wonder. I bought a mob for Duffers there and began as an overlander. So pass the bog around, boys, and don't you leave it stand there. For tonight we'll drink the health of every overlander. Well, when the cattle were counted, then the ass was ready to start. The lads were all well mounted with their swag left in the cart. I saw I had all sorts of men from Germany, France and Flanders. Lawyers, doctors, good and bad and a mob of overlanders. Now I would scorn to prick a shirt as well me mates can say. But if we pass through a township all on a washing day, the dirty brats the kids would say and quickly raise me down to crying, Mother, quick, take in the clothes, here comes an overlander. opened us up Australia tremendously, but at the same time, you've got to remember that the, the, the people who are now in the outback were there a long, long time before the, uh, the aeroplane was invented. Probably the classic area where you can see Australians as Australians uh, is a race meeting uh, where the beer tent is probably far more patronised than the stands where the, the uh, Australian still slakes his thirst with a, an ice-cold beer. He still looks around for somebody to take him on, for somebody that he can probably test his, his, his uh, proudly possessed manhood. Sydney is that it's growing too fast. People are prepared to keep hold of some of their past in a city which is expanding faster than almost any other anywhere else in the world.
What is it exactly that draws people to Tahiti? I believe it still is the same place as uh, when Gauguin was there, very much. In fact, uh, people still go there now to find exactly what he found. Um, a group of islands and charming people and uh, maybe the people who go to Tahiti to live there, they're not facing the realities of uh, the Western world or the uh, big cities. That's, that's what draws them there first. And I think it's very much what Gauguin went there for. Tower. This is Clipper 811, three, maintaining 310, estimating Fisher at 21. Request descent. Yeah, Roger, uh, Clipper, this is Mandy Tower. You're cleared to descend, maintain flight level 70, report leaving 310. In Fiji, we were warriors with a sense of humor. So it was understandable that our contact with the British, combined with our history, should lead us to rugby football.
American Samoa is one of the countless island groupings of the South Pacific that have in common their rare and unspoiled beauty and a certain amiable diffuseness about detail. Yes, that is a baseball bat, sort of. Yes, that is cricket they're playing, sort of. In American Samoa, who cares anyway? If it keeps the young people happy while their elders talk gravely and think deeply about the management of their society under the cool shade of the deep palm thatch. <laughs> Many, many hundreds of years ago, from some unidentified beach in the South Pacific, a fleet of canoes set out south and west to the music of the sea and the beat of a hundred battles. First Maori migrants came to New Zealand from uh, a place which they called Hawaiki, which is now thought to have been somewhere in the Cook Islands, probably Rarotonga. The Maoris, when they reached New Zealand, found a country which had no mammals at all. So they were dependent, as they always had been, on fishing. New Zealand must have looked very strange when they first saw it with its snowy mountains and volcanoes. They'd come from little Pacific island atolls made of coral. But when the Scots first saw it, it must have seemed very much like home. Being Scots, they wasted no time in covering the plains and river flats with sheep. There was a rush to fill up the empty country. important commodity, but eventually refrigerated ships made it possible to sell meat right across the other side of the world in Britain, and New Zealand literally took off on the sheep's back. They say it's a great country if you're a sheep. I just say it's a great country.
If you take Australia and Fiji and Samoa, if you look at Tahiti and its islands and go southward to New Zealand, and if you then take them all together as one piece, there is a name for them which we find convenient. It is South Pacific and it calls us from across the world.